Hello, Lily Queen here. How are you? Hope you're doing well and you're sewing away. Okay, so today I want to give you a quick tutorial on fabric behavior or fabric dimensions because we do have this behavior of woven fabrics that it helps to know or to understand how they function and what they mean, okay? Various parts of a fabric. Um, I'll just show this to you. This is the fabric I'm holding right now. It has the end of it we call the selvage, the selvage of the fabric and it always has two selvages, all right? So we have one selvage, the other one, and it's in the vertical. When you hold it vertically, you have two selvages, one at the top, one at the bottom. And um, we, I kind of reduce that into a small piece of fabric so you can understand better. So, so this is it. We have the long grain this way and then the short grain that way and then we have the bias grain any fabric that you take as far as it's woven it has these dimensions to them and I'm going to explain what is a long grain what is a long grain um, fabric part of the fabric the long grain part is the part of the threads or the weave that move parallel to the selvage they go parallel to the selvage and those that go across or crisscrossing it would fall on the short grain part of the of the um fabric okay that would be the short grain of the fabric so when you take a fabric you cannot be confused you look for the selvage you know that all the other threads moving in that direction are the long grain and those that move this way, vertically, are the short grain. And the bias will be the diagonal this way. Now, the bias has a behavior that many of us sewers take advantage of. Because I'm going to use this to show you. When I stretch this fabric, this is a linen fabric. It doesn't stretch. You, you, I turn it to the short grain. It doesn't stretch any which way. But then as soon as I turn on the diagonal, look at how much stretch I have okay this stretch is extremely helpful to make bias cut clothing once you can stretch the fabric already you can see like a circle skirt or a bias skirt showing up once you turn any fabric on the bias you are able to kind of give that look of a bias um, stretch and we take advantage of the bias behavior of moving fabrics to create bias strips, okay? We use it for bias strips, and you know bias strips are used for bias binding. You can buy them pre-made, already made, or you can create them yourself, and we're gonna be creating that in my next video. This is just introductory to let you know how to identify the various parts of the fabric the long grain the bias grain the short grain of a fabric um, and the long grain is always parallel to the selvage you need to uh, identify what the selvage is for example this African fabric this the bottom is the selvage one thing about the selvage you cannot pull thread out when you th try nothing will come out you can always cut and pull thread when it comes to the other parts of the fabric but not the selvage it's always sealed okay now that's all i want to share with you however let me just give you a tip for today this tip is uh, when it comes to let's say a pattern this is a, a, a cute little pattern here of a baby doll top you see the grain line the straight line here is the grain line it's actually written on it the grain line this line is extremely important always look for the grain line and when you're going to cut you don't just grab the fabric and put the pattern anywhere in the fabric you position it in such a way that your 
grain line is parallel to the selvage. Okay, so that's the tip. Always make sure it's parallel to the selvage. Okay, so these are the various dimensions of the fabric, woven fabric. Thank you and have fun in sewing.